If you've been following along with our series of videos on how to set up a brand new ERM, uh, you'll be aware that uh, right now we are ready for the process of actually pairing the ERM to the ECU on your bike. Uh, in previous videos, we've covered all the things that need to happen up to this point, including setting up the ERM and also fitting the necessary adapter cable for your make and model and also the handlebar mount kit. Now, the, the next process that I'm about to talk about, which is where we actually pair the ERM to the ECU, it's essentially exactly the same process, whether you have a two-stroke or a four-stroke, uh, regardless of brand. So this video applies to all bikes that the ERM is suitable for. So once the ERM is mounted on the bars and powered, you will see this uh, initial pairing screen. Now this screen is only visible when the ERM ha has not yet been paired. So if you scroll to the bottom of this screen and press the pair button, it will ask if you want to proceed, press yes. It will then scan for an, uh, available Wi-Fi networks. Um, the ERM does need a, uh, a functioning uh, Wi-Fi uh, connection in order to pair with the ECU. So when you've found your Wi-Fi network on the list of available options, press connect. Uh, the first time you use a particular Wi-Fi network, it will ask you to enter the password. Um, uh, in future uh, connections, if you're reusing the same Wi-Fi network, uh, it will save the password for one network. In this case, we haven't yet used this network, so I'll enter the password now. So when you're finished entering the Wi-Fi password, press the tick icon on the bottom right of the screen. It will now attempt to connect to the Wi-Fi and verify the connection is functioning. and then the ERM will automatically go ahead and start communicating with the ECU. Now, depending on uh, which particular bike you own, whether it's two-stroke or four-stroke or uh, TPI or TBI, for example, this process may take anywhere from about 30 seconds up to several minutes. Uh, while this is happening, don't uh, touch anything on the bike. Uh, don't attempt to start the engine. Don't disconnect the battery. Uh, this moment now, while it's pairing with the ECU, is uh, one of the very few times where um, uh, if the pairing process is interrupted, uh, where it can uh, cause uh, issues with the ECU. It's very rare for that to happen, but it is uh, one of the uh, more sensitive parts of the, uh, of the process of setting up the ERM. So there we go, it says successfully paired to your bike. So the ERM has now taken a copy of the original map that was on your ECU. But at this particular point in time, your ECU is still stock. So even though the ERM has paired to the ECU, uh, you still do not yet have one of our tuned maps on your ECU. So now that it's paired, you'll see straight away we have uh, all the various uh, screens and functionality. Uh, on the ERM that is now, uh, has now been activated because the ERM knows it's been paired. So all it's left to do now is to flash the tune to the ECU. If you skip this step, your ECU will still be uh, stock. You'll still have the stock tune. So the fastest way to um, flash a tune to the ECU is to press the tune tab at the top of the ERM screen. Look at the drop down menu. You'll see at the top we have the original map and then below that we have the TSP tuned map that we loaded in one of the earlier videos. So select the tuned map, press the tune button, press basic, and then press flash. So that process is the fastest way to send uh, one of our tuned maps to your ECU. Now in a separate video, we will talk about some of the other features and other adjustments that can be made uh, to those tuned maps. Uh, but for this video, uh, if you simply want to get the tune map to your ECU as quickly as possible, what I've just done is the fastest process. Now, to be very clear, what we describe as a tune uh, is, uh, I guess, a data file that's sent to the ECU and it contains two different maps. So it contains a white map and a green map, um, if you're uh, talking about the newer bikes, or if you're talking about the older TPI bikes, uh, it contains map one and map two. So every time you hear us talk about the uh, word tune, what that means is a data file that contains uh, two different maps. The two maps are tuned differently or adjusted differently by us. There is always one performance map and one map which is designed uh, to give much softer, uh, easier to use power. 
So now this ECU has one of our tunes on it. Before actually riding this bike, there is one more step that needs to happen, which we'll cover in the next video in this series. The details of that depend on whether or not you have a two-stroke or a four-stroke, but essentially we need to set up the throttle position sensor, and on some of the two-strokes, we need to set up the power valve. So make sure you check out those videos next before you ride your bike.